here's a real quickie on asking for help rather than complaining. Uh, it'd be a complaint with you forgot to turn out the light. A request would be, oh, honey, you know, I was just walking through the living room, the light was out. I know so many times you do turn it out, but sometimes you still forget. Uh, it'd be really nice if you try to remember, thanks, and then go out of the room. Don't expect a response. It's her whole premise of this question. I'm looking for an acknowledgement, and then I feel hurt by that rather than purposely ignoring it, but that you're not getting a response. But there's so many better things I just said other than just ignore it, all oh, that's one technique. Don't expect it, because that's that look, aren't you gonna give me a response? Well, if you do have that feeling, set it up. It's not a big deal, you'll get more of a response. Or it's not a big deal, and when I say these little things, all you have to do is just glance my way and say I hear you, and that's enough. I just wanna know I'm heard. I don't need you to say you're sorry. It's nice whenever you are, but I know with little things, it's hard to say you're sorry because it's not a big deal. You're a guy, but just say you hear me. Then mm -hmm. now you have a communication technique, you know, driving in the car. Bonnie used to tell me to slow down. That would be very annoying to me. Oh, that's another thing in the annoyance section. Women giving driving instructions can really yeah. irritate guys. Oh, and slow down, go fast, turn here. Why did you do that? You shouldn't have gone there. I can't believe you got any kind of driving instruction. So ours was usually John would, I would go too fast. And, and she asked me, how can I communicate to you that I'm uncomfortable while you're driving? I know it's very annoying to you. That's a good technique conversation about how can I communicate what I need? And I, I thought, I thought it took me a long time. I said, you know, it's really hard sometimes to communicate to me what you need. And I could, I could be a little sense, overly sensitive here. And, and then I came up with the answer. I said, so don't say anything. If you want me to slow down, just grab the handle. <laughs> You grab the handle. Grab the handle. Yeah, the like, signal. <laughs> yeah, it's just a signal. Sometimes nonverbal communication is really good. I think for couples to have a really good non uh, communication thing, particularly annoying thing, is women talking too much about their feelings. And so, how can a man have her stop because he can't hear anymore? As if it's not a bad thing. You can make little signals, whatever it is. Smile and put your hands in the air. That's another one, which means I'm going to go think about what you said. But I can't, I, even if I say something, I, I, the tone of voice conveys, you know, when a woman asks, says something, she thinks she's saying it perfectly. Well, it worked when it was A, B, C. But when you've gone through all the four R's and now it's X, Y, Z, or even to resentment, X, Y, Z. Eye contact allows a person to hear X, Y, Z, even if you're saying A, B, C. Does that make sense? I, I sort yeah. of brought that back in. You can't hide your deepest resentments with eye contact. You can mm -hmm. hide them, which is effective to do <laughs> many times. Fake it till you make it sometimes, okay? That's okay, not all the time, but at crucial times, you don't need to just dump it all out there, but behave like you would in the office. You know, in the workplace, we all have to behave. You can't just throw your feelings around, and sometimes in your marriage, you have to, that's okay. Just not all the time.